Hello friends. I'm actually going to title this one part five of the parable of the seed and sower because we've kind of broken it into different parts because we want these to be short so you can listen and go about your day. But we pray for God's anointing on this, that he will speak to your heart and minister to you. And that the uh, this is the third thing that Jesus said, that when the seed is sown and it's been planted, but the three different areas choke out the word of God for being fruitful in your life. And this last one I want to talk about is about lust. And I looked at the meaning. It's an intense craving and obsess obsessive and passionate desire of other things. Entering in chokes the word. So intensive craving. In other words, I had a friend who she just... It would just come over her to go shop and spend money. I mean, that is an intense craving. And it was not of God, and God really set her free from that. But there's other things, you know, uh, obsessive desires, a uh, uh, passionate uh, concern or, or for something that just gets you, the word just gets choked out of your life. And it was interesting, what, uh, you think about Solomon, because uh, he did have power, and God gave him a lot of wisdom, but he had the pull of the world even in his life. Now, I've written this down. He had 700 wives and 300 concubines. That's a lot of women to have in your life, gentlemen. But it said that the wives turned his heart from God, and he began to get away from God. The word was choked from his heart, and we know how he ended up. But I have this quote from Charles Coulson's Kingdoms in Conflict. And he said, um, power corrupts, but absolute power corrupts absolutely. And Chuck's, uh, Chuck Coulson pointed out, it is power that corrupts, not power that is corrupt. Like electricity, which is properly handled, electricity, electricity provides light and energy. When mishandled, it's destroyed. The problem of power is not limited to public officials. It affects all human relationships. From the domineering parent, to the bullying boss, to the manipulative spouse, to the pastor who plays God, it is also wielded effectively by the seemingly weak who manipulate others to gain their own ends. The temptation to abuse power confronts everyone. Jesus' power only did, he only did what the Father told him to do. So I leave you with those thoughts. We do not want the lust for other things to choke out what God wants to do in our hearts. Love you.